That feeling of adrenaline running through your body is, yeah, it's crazy. The first like historic night we, we, we did there, I didn't really enjoy it. And now I was there, chill, focused. I'm focusing on that one thing, and that's the fight and winning the fight. But that moment when I come out, that moment I really connect with the people. I came out, saw all those people, and I was like, wow. Rico versus Jamal, part three starts right now. Uh, this is an amazing fight, I'm looking forward to this one. That's one of the most beautiful things that, that comes with the, the amazing job we have. From Hell Riddle in Arnhem. And we're here again, let's go. Kickboxing fans watching in 180 countries around the world. It's time for glory. Here we go. Tonight, the heavyweight belt is on the line. Jamal Ben Sadiq and Rico Verhoeven. Will the reign end tonight? Will we have a new king? Or will it be par for the course for Rico Verhoeven as he tries to defend his title for a record 10th time? Fight. That's what you gotta do. Push the pace and fight with it. I'm putting so much pressure on what I'm doing. Like, why am I doing this? And when I enter the arena and everybody's like going crazy and like, oh yeah, I remember. It's a big, there's a right hand that scores. Exactly, this is what I'm doing. Oh, and is that a knockdown? And a big left hand! And that will do it for the end of the first round! You're the main event, so, yeah, like, that feeling is, uh, yeah, it brings me through the roof. Three of the judges gave the first round to Rico, two. Oh! What's so nice about the heavyweight division is that it's so controversial. Every fight can be decided in every second. He's, he's still in the game, he's still in the game. He's, uh, but this fight's give you, this fight's give you respect, you know? Look at Rico's face, it is a bloody mess. The left side of Rico's face is unrecognizable. Yeah, his eyes completely shut now. If you want to be the very best, I'm not stopping, I'm not quitting, never. I bend, but I don't break. Rico, it's good to see you again. Tell us about your injury, about the injury below your eye, because I can barely see it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still there a little bit, so it's a little bit uh, swollen. Been to the doctors not too long ago, and they said everything's okay, but uh, due, due to the trauma, uh, there's like some scar tissue still like underneath the skin that yeah, stays there for a little bit, and while it looks a little bit swollen still, and there's a little bit of color difference and the buddy said yeah like in time everything will like, return to normal so yeah yeah really uh, really happy with that news yeah luckily because it looked really really yeah terrible. Well, it, especially when i when i look back at it, it was like, whoa it, it looked worse when i saw it like for the first time afterwards so yeah. at the moment it was just like it is what it is but afterwards i was like oh, man. Yeah, it's pretty serious i fucked up it was uh, probably one of the specta most spectacular fights uh, in 2021. Take us through the fight because it was a hard fight. This was for a lot of people, well, maybe the second time that they, they saw you in trouble. Yeah. Did you, did you felt it that way? Well, I think I started off pretty good. Um, I was just like, touching up, feeling, moving around, and just like, um, just like you always gotta feel like, what is your opponent gonna do? What What is his game plan? And we got five rounds, so we got, I got the time to look and to feel around a little bit and see what's gonna, yeah, what the game plan is of your opponent. Yeah, then you have certain things that I'm not allowed to do because he's like a certain type of fighter. 
he's big, he's strong. So what's a thing that's not smart to do is stand still and stand right in front of him and go toe to toe with this guy. Then when you make that, exactly that mistake, not once but twice, yeah, that's, um, that's hard for me. That's hard. And that, that comes from a feeling where, I don't know, I, I, still, I still want to prove something, not to the people, but to myself. I want to prove something to myself. Like, I, if you want to fight, let's, let's fucking fight, you know? Incredible performance thus far for Ben Sadiq. Oh, double jab from Rico, and now it's Jamal who's back on the ropes. And he cut him straight with the right again. Jamal needs to be careful for Rico's overhand right. He, he doesn't look, he doesn't look ready to get punches, you know? blood dripping but where is the cut i have no clue where the cut is the only thing i thought is like now the time is really ticking hey never have we seen rico busted up like this joe oh, oh, the heart that rico's showing oh the heart is great yo. he's a he he got a fighter's heart there's a lion there to get today go to the touch you want oh, 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 oh. rico that catches the goliath he smiles but that means he's hurt rico big right hand again sadiq trying to cover up with the corner Jamal's in trouble. A oh, big time, Ooh. big time shabby shots for Jamal. He's really throwing everything behind those punches now. This is like the 12th round of a heavyweight boxing title fight, but we're only the third round. Fight ain't over till it's over. Oh, yeah. oh. Right at the end of round three, and Jamal is just dangling on the ropes. Were you amazed that he he started the fourth round because he was he was empty. Yeah, I thought like, okay, there's the possibility that he's not even gonna come out. And of course, his corner wants to try to do something like like give him some extra rest. He finally did come out, and then okay, let's go. Look at the leg of Ben Sadiq. Look at the face of Rico. I just want to win that fight. It's a battle of attrition at this point. But I was ready to fucking push the pedal to the metal. Instead of wasting that energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see, you keep the right hand a couple of times so he doesn't... Rico caught him again. Jamal's turned his back. He's dead on him. Oh, the knockdown. We weren't talking about game plan. We just said, man, fight him. Push him. Push him to the moment that he breaks. That's what happened. That's it. That is it! The rain continues! Rico Verhoeven with the guttiest, the toughest, the ballsiest performance we've ever seen from him tonight. He walked through fire, Joe, and he got it done. Yeah, and he had to do it by digging deep, which made the fight exciting. And you got to think, a fight like that is a memorable one on his 10th title defense. So. Rico continually digging deep and showing his heart of a champion. At that moment, when you see that that big cut and the blood all over the place, and that right hand, me going down, it's like all the odds were against me. I never got into a situation where I had to show that I had that ability to, to push myself so far. Me and Dennis, we know I can do that. And everybody in my team knows that I can do that. But the people never saw that before.